Hey guys, welcome back to US Medi Team. Uh, today's topic is enteropathic arthropathy. Um, before starting, I request you to subscribe to my channel. Please rate, comment, and thumb up. Okay. Um, let me start. This is the important topic for US Medi examination. Okay, the enteropathic arthropathies are the group of rheumatological conditions that share link to gastrointestinal pathology. Means a patient is having a joint pain with GI symptoms. That's what the enteropathic uh, arthropathy is. So the inflammatory spondyloarthropathy is associated with the IBD and to react to arthritis caused by bacteria like Shigella, Salmonella, blah 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 infections. So what you need to know is uh, you need to know how to differentiate and uh, that's very important and the treatment treatment is usually the what is the cause is if the cause is the IBD give that treatment if the cause is people disease give that treatment if the cause is celiac disease give that treatment treat the celiac disease that's very very, very important okay uh, let me start with this uh, the etiology how it is caused that's not so much important just you can remember for a fun purpose that's it the inflammation of the GI tract may increase the permeability, resulting in the absorption of the uh, antigenic materials, including bacterial antigens. It's uh, just like an immune reaction that causes and results in the arthritis from a GI disorders. So the IBD, IBD, the following characteristics are very important. The just I think if you watch this video, you will come to know more important points about the different kinds of disease with the uh, joint pain. So try to concentrate, take a cup of coffee, sit back and listen to my videos. If you have any questions, please do ask me. And if you have any, if you made, uh, if you if you find any mistakes in my lecture, please let me know. Please, please, I'm not a perfect, but I will try to be a perfect. I need your support, help. Okay. So this IBD is an insidious onset of low back pain, especially in the younger persons. The, the IBD should be, uh, you can see in the low, uh, younger uh, persons with the low back pain. Morning stiffness can be there, right? Exacerbation of prolonged sitting or standing improved by moderate activity, more common in Crohn's disease than in ulcerative colitis. Sometimes they will ask you which of the following could be a more common, right, arthritis. So remember about the Crohn's disease, it's very common in the Crohn's disease. So independent of GI symptoms. So it's not at all related to independent of GI symptoms. It's not related to the GI symptoms. That's very important. They have the GI symptoms. They have the arthritis, but not related to that. Okay, uh, very important. Okay, peripheral arthritis in IBD demonstrates the following characteristics: the non-deforming and non-erasive, more common in the CD, as I told you earlier, may precede intestinal involvement, but usually concomitant or subsequent to bowel disease as late as 10 years following the diagnosis. So it takes a much time from the diagnosis, just like a diabetes, to develop an uh, ophthalmoretinopathy. Ophthalmo it takes uh, many years for that. Uh, uh, nephropathy. So it's like this, uh, if a patient is having Crohn's disease, so it takes time, years, 10 years to develop uh, arthropathy. Okay, the type one, the type two, you need to remember. The type one is a uh, posse articular less than five joints, acute self-limiting attack lasting less than ten weeks, asymmetric and affecting large joints such as knees, hips, shoulders. Strong correlation to the uh, correlation to the IBD activity. Most frequently, the extensive UC or colonic involvement in CD. Uh, that is the ulcerative colitis and the Crohn's disease associated with other extra intestinal manifestations of IBD. So you need to look for other uh, manifestations of IBD like um, scleritis, okay? Uh, that's very important. Uh, the other manifestations, I can uh, upload that video for you. The type 2, more than 5 joints involvement on a polyarticular, chronic lasting months to years, more likely symmetric and affected small joints of the hands independent of bowel activity. So uh, the extra articular IBD demonstrates the following characteristics. Intestinal abdominal pain, weight loss, diarrhea and hematochesia. So with this video you will come to the important points with arthritis and uh, even also some other diseases like IBD. So very important points I am highlighting. So skin manifestation, pyroderma gangliosum in UC remember and erythema nodosum in CD. In CD. So they give the, they give the history with the pyroderma gangliosum plus arthritis think of IBD in UC or erythema nodosum plus arthritis think of CD. That's very important. Pyroderma gangliosum. Okay and uh, erythema nodosum. Uh, oral aphthous ulcers in using ocular evitis uh, and uh, non granular matters is blah 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 you can see. Okay. Reactive arthritis shows the following. Reactive arthritis. Typically an acute asymmetric oligoarthritis, knees or ankles. 
appear up to several weeks after the initial entry infections certain species of Asinia salmonella shigella complutra and others celiac sprue can also present with the uh, enteropathic arthropathy so uh, gluten sensitive arthropathy right arthritis is uncommon may precede diagnosis of celiac disease lumbar spine hips knees shoulders usually symmetrical improves with the gluten free if they give the history of gluten free plus the joint pains think of enteropathic uh, arthropathy collagen and lymphocytic colitis can be characterized as follows it's not very important just go through this video i don't want to read this okay uh, Whipple's disease Whipple's disease can amounts you can have arthropathy the what are the things you can see is uh, multi-systemic caused by infection with the trephoma lipelli i uploaded video already about this most common in the middle age middle age uh, men they have weight loss malabsorption migrated polyarthritis as many as 90 percent of cases which may precede gi symptoms by years sacroiliitis uh, occasional diagnosis via small boiled biopsy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Symptoms improved by prolonged course of antibiotics, especially in tetracycline erythromycin. Okay, lab test depending on the lab test, uh, depending on the cause, depending on the clinical history, you need to do, uh, start with the lab testing from CT, MRI, and uh, from uh, joint aspiration, uh, from uh, x rays. Okay, so this is very important from lab test, ESR, CBC platelet count all those things blah 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 if a people's disease go with the biopsies yeah ibd go with the biopsy very important okay treatment treatment the most common drug uh, that you can use the first line what you call is the NSAIDs. this is very important you need to use uh, if, they, if you find out the cause for the his uh, arthropathy enteropathic arthropathy then you can treat them with the following uh, with their respective uh, treatment uh, like for IBD for a uh, car for uh, repels, tetracycline and blah 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 you know I will upload more videos on that thank you so much for watching my video please if you have any questions please do let me know yeah tell me how I'm doing I want to improve myself uh, if I made any mistakes please 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 let me know thank you so much for watching my video thank you bye bye